All right, I'm back recording on, uh, you know, the actual, like, DirectX version instead of just having, like, it, re it recording on Windows screen. So hopefully the quality will be better this time. I'm prepared for your bullshit. You caught me off guard last time. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? You are too powerful and too insane to be any kind of god. Oh my gosh, that's what he meant! He's using save states to win. You weak! Yeah, look at that face. That face right there is the face of a screaming child. Yep, he is save stating all over the place. I'm aware of your bullcrap. Warning. Looks like we're going... Give me... I don't know if hitting him actually does... Oh! Giant shoes! Giant shoes, everybody. Giant odd... odd shoes. <laughs> Get me to the act button. Help me! Internet! Anybody! Musical notes! Get me all the health I can grab! It seems as if your pow- that is hilarious, by the way. That is some real, like, no-scope, fucking, blaze it every day effect. Fight him! Hit him by one! Hit him by anything! Cause him pain! Cause this thing looks delicate and fra- oh! Fingered lasers! With flowers on them! I love that, that half-ass, like, fire effect. That's so fucking funny. Did I just go up inside of him? I think I did. Wonderful. Aw, oh, floppy disks? Death, death, corrupt, murder, blah, 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 cruelty, hatred. Something this... Okay, this is real easy. Okay, maybe not that bad. Eh, act. Help me! Pink heart? Purple heart? Are the children helping me? Wait a minute. This is hilarious. This is the most funny fucking thing I've seen in a long time in a video game. Because the quality is so high, yet so hilariously terrible. I mean, look at this. Look at this! You're not looking hard enough at this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And then we go back to this. Now we go back to the pixel graphics, but before it's like... FMV quality shit. So he's tossing out fire, but then we call for help from the green heart. Okay. You know, it'd be perfect. Ooh, donuts or olives or something. Mmm. Gotta grab me everyone that I can. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that face. And the fire effect here? Fucking hilarious. And all these, like, flies. I swear this is, like, FMV quality shit. This is the most awesome. Wonderful, I don't even know what drug trip that I've been on. Fight him! Finger lasers with Flowery's face on it. Just, how can you not love this? This is a final boss. This is a final boss. This right here is a final boss because this is so batshit fucking insane that it defies all logic. This has gone beyond anything that I can ever describe. Big television, you are not shooting the gunslinger with a gun. You are not shooting me with a gun. You are not killing me with a gun. No. No. It's not happening. No. No, I don't need help here, because you're not killing me. No. Ouch. That would have been so funny if you just killed me. No! Shoot me! Shoot me! Uh-oh. Heart! Green heart! Many hearts! <gasps> heart friends! Love me! I was all of you at one time. Oh, they're all helping me. They all want him to die. These are all my fellow YouTube people. These are all my fellow people who've played Undertale, who know the horrors of Flowery. We all want you to die. Drop to zero. Next time I fight you, this will be the end. You are a spectacle fight if I've ever seen it. Hope, ooh, not so fun when you get hit. Maybe you should lose your fucking save state, you cheater. Are you enjoying this? You're getting some kind of, oh. The children help me. The children believe in me. The children know that you are an abomination that must be eradicated. I don't know how I'm gonna do this for pacifist run, because there will be no pacification for my anger at you, Flowery. There is no, every, every other character, every other character has literally been justified, but you are unjustifiable. 
your existence is a Cthulhu mythos of pain and dismay that should never be allowed to survive. Your fire, your memes will die. Fuck this war. I just want you dead. These finger lasers are the most amusing fucking... This whole game was built out for this finger laser. No, you do not, sir. These bombs, too. Amazing. Give me that band-aid. Gotta grab me every one that I can. <laughs> there is hope. As long as you are dead. And living. I hate this attack. I hate this attack. Your teeth bite me. Give me that hope. I'm clawing my way back up to hell. The children believe in me. The question is, viewers, all of you people among YouTube and beyond, do you believe in me? Because you, Flowery, should have believed in me from the start. But now you've learned your lesson that really it is true. The truest life is one that knows this rule. It's kill or be killed. This can't be happening. You, you. File corrupted. File six saved. Hee hee hee. Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. Not yet. You said you needed one more person to become a god. And you? You're a hopeless. What is with that face? You're hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You're worthless, friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what that good does you. You see, I was 100% right. I was 100% right about this game. I met my mother. I met my friends. I met my lover. And now I've met Death Incarnate. Yep. But this is worse than death. This is life in its most horrific form. You called for help. There's no shame in that. Unlike you, Flowery, I have friends. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Just you wait, you fuck. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Is that right? Look at his face. He's so confused. How did you? Well, I'll just... Load failed. Look at his eyes. Well... Where are my powers? We rebel against you. The souls. What are they doing? They're more powerful than you. Oh my god. You can't do that. You. You're supposed to obey me. Blah, stop. Stop it. You deserve every bit of iota of pain that you incur. Goodbye, Flowery. I hope. Maybe? Dead? Not dead? Oh, there he is. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't even need a choice. Kill. You know? No. It's kill or be killed. I knew you had it in you. Jane's face says it all. It's just a regular flower. It's just a regular flower. Well.
Who could possibly? Hello? Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen has returned and attempted to resume ruling the underground. She instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here would be treated not as enemies, but as friends. But people really didn't like that policy because of you. Not only was the king gone, but the human souls had gone missing as well. Along with the life of Undying, their greatest hero, nobody wanted to see that happen ever again. So the people started a rebellion to overthrow the queen, not my mother! But she, uh, pretty much gave up peacefully when she realized, so she went back to the ruins. The underground's basically an uneasy anarchy now. Everyone's trying to live life like they always have. But it's not really easy, you know, when all of your hope has pretty much been thrown away. But hey, it's not all bad. She's not so lonely anymore. Me and Papyrus go to vis and visit her. We bring her books from the library or play games. We've even convinced her to leave sometimes, as long as me or Papyrus, Papyrus or I, stay behind to watch for humans. But Papyrus loves doing that. Yeah, I love standing in for the queen. I've been practicing when a human comes. For when a human comes, I'm going to be a great mom. Oh, you are, dear. By the way, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Rude. Oh, cool. Tell them I say hi. Papyrus says hi. Well, I hope that things are better where you are. Later. Click. So that's our ending, huh? Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth, humans and monsters. There he is, Asgore. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ibot. 201 kisses Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return And so Jane fell And so Jane fell and hit her head and would continue her journey into the unknown depths below. This was the game known as Undertale. My god. My god. Okay. Okay, I need to talk about what happened there. Reset. Hold on, I need to see where I can continue from. Ah, very good. Well, I think that I know where I should end this and give my final thoughts. Right here. Okay. True final thought time. <sighs> okay. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that Flowery ended up becoming a more prominent character than even I anticipated. Because that is a transformation of hellish proportions. I mean, the bombs that all had his face on it, the finger guns, just, you, you went above and beyond, you had some fun designing that, I mean, when you've made this game for as long as you have, and then you know the final boss is up, I mean, you could have easily ended it at Asgore, but then you crank things up to I don't even know what, you ripped the knob off and blew up the projector screen, or whatever kind of machine we were previously working on and you just blew it all up and you unleashed something straight from hell i'm not gonna deny that is a creature from beyond space and time flowery when he has all those souls that is a corruption that is an abomination 
of Cthulhu-like proportions, but plant-based. Just fleshy, metal, cockiness, everything combined into one. Hilarious. Hilarious. And that sticks out. That's... That's... I don't even know. You know, I was quiet there during the credits because I was enjoying reading. I, I honestly thought that Toby Fox had done this all by himself. But it's nice to see that he did actually give credit and credit other people, and he didn't do it all by himself. He had friends. He had people that worked on this with him. That's wonderful. It's kind of, it reminds me a lot of, um, it reminds me a lot of Hideo Kojima, how, you know, he's like the one really credited for all the Metal Gear games, but he also has a lot of friends and a lot of crew working on them. You know, his name's prominently displayed on everything, like Toby Fox. But it is nice to realize that it's not, this all isn't just one person. It is a group effort. And I like that. I like that, you know, it just didn't say, you know, by Toby Fox, the end. That's the credits. I, I, that's honestly what I was expecting for the credits. Um, I liked I liked how it wrapped up there. That was kind of cool. I, I enjoy how it's anarchy, but a kind of tentative, tentatively nice anarchy. And to be perfectly honest, I mean, that's kind of how it was before. I mean, monsters would attack. Monsters would have conflicts. I mean, maybe the shops are a little bit more anarchic and, it, you know, I mean, Metanons, who knows where, and I don't even know what's going to happen with Alphys, and Undying's dead, and there's a lot of lost hope, but I feel like there's a... I feel like... How do I put this? There might be a lack of hope, but there's no malice. That's what I feel. I mean, even even Toriel, dear old mom, resigned her position, although I am very interested to see what happens if she's not around. Because that's kind of where we are for, like, at least, you know... At least Sans and Papyrus have somebody to kind of go and be happy with. There's little pockets of, I, I won't say humanity, but there's little pockets of hope. I don't even want to say hope. There's little pockets of um, inspiration for the future. You know, there's, there's, there's possibilities there. We haven't completely destroyed everything. So, my God. My God. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but also refreshed. And really looking forward to continuing this game. Now, at the beginning of the project here, I said that I would link to my Patreon account. And I'm going to do that in this video. At the uh, In the description, there will be a link to the Patreon. I might even do an annotation um, over Jane's face or something. Um, I, I gave it my all with this project. I gave all of my analysis, all my humor, all my character, all my heart, all of my soul went into this project, and that's for you to judge if it's worth it or not. Um, I'll have a trailer for my Patreon page that'll kind of give some more reasons, but this was the this was the real test, I feel. This is the real example of what I am about. Because this game is so unique. It's got its own attitude. It knows what it wants to be. It succeeds. There's true depth and heart here I mean when you first look at it I'm going to be perfectly honest the minimalist graphics and just pixel art at first I was kind of trepidatious to begin this project I actually wasn't even sure if I should try to do this project because a lot of people were doing it and I figured oh you know maybe there's not a lot there I know how people get when stuff's really popular like this but there was a moment when I was um, at the supermarket and I was buying some groceries and I was going to go buy some beer and, you know, not for me, but for somebody else, I was going to buy some for my dad. And I thought to myself, hmm, this case of beer is about as much as that new Undertale game is on Steam. And I really thought about it for a while and I thought, you know what? You know what? Rather than buying this case of beer, I'm going to go home and I'm going to buy Undertale and I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to really try to do it. And I went home and I bought the game and I started the project. And here we are, a couple months later, and it went really well. And I feel that I'm, I don't want to sound sim like, I don't want to say sympathetic. I, I'm, I don't want to sound um, dramatic here, but I really think that spending time with these characters has really allowed me to become a little bit better of a person because, I don't know, it, it just shows that games can have a lot of depth to them and a lot of, a lot of, intricacies without being super super massive 
you know, because that's a thing. A lot of a lot of games nowadays feel like they need to be bigger and have bigger maps and more characters and just more pretty much of everything except for real characters. And that's what these characters are. Not just not just because of the pacifist, genocidal, neutral run. And I think if this was the only run that I had to do of this game, this was worth the money ten times over. Easily. Just for the experience. And it's so relatable. Everybody has their own unique experience, I feel. Everyone has their own stories to tell. What did you name your human? What did you think when this happened? What did you think when Flowery revealed him, Flowey revealed himself to be like, I don't even know. Words fail me at this point. And I feel like this is a real community game. A community game. In the sense that if you've played this game or seen this game, you can talk about this game with anybody else who's played it. And I feel like that really connects us together. And I'm just really thankful that we have people out there like Toby Fox and everybody else who worked on this game to make games like this. You know, really. This was special. And I'm really looking forward to playing it again and again, doing the pacifist and then genocide run. I'm probably going to take a break to do other projects. You know, I'm not going to just dive straight back in. I need some time to absorb this. I really do. And I need to give you guys some time to kind of come down from this, too. I feel like this is an incredible high, you know? Um, maybe just one project or two, but I'm definitely coming back to this. I'm not going to come back to this in, like, a year or two from now. 2016. Pacifist and Genocide Run. No question. But this was Undertale. And I have been, as always, and as long as you guys will have me, I've been the Invisible Gunslinger, number one, and I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then.